What up, YouTube? We're gonna do a little video real quick. Been a busy man. Man, look at my fucking hair, dude. Holy shit. Oh, this fucking shit. I never, whenever I decide to grow this shit out, I don't know. But anyway, Christ sakes, man. Anyway, okay. So, uh, well, I've been busy getting this shit done. I'm ready for a firewall. My brakes are done. Brakes are done. Roll cage done. Uh, suspension done. Front and back. Um, got to put a wheelie bar on it. It's the only thing I got left. Wheelie bar. Got to, always looking over here. Need to be looking here. Got to put a wheelie bar on it. Be about the last thing that's really serious on building shit wise. But my brakes are done. They're bled. They work. They they work. They work really good. They're stick got a good stiff paddle. Like uh yeah. So let's look at it. You've already seen this, right? I got my cover on there now. I already put my seat cover on there. Uh hang on a second. Uh, there we go. I'm zoom. Oop, zooming in. Got my seat cover back on the car. It makes me feel a little comfy in the car. Let's go to the let's go to the back real quick. Let's go to the back. We already looked at the back. I ain't ready to show you the front. Like I said, if you ain't noticed, anti-roll bar. Anti-roll bar in the car. Rear brakes done. Check, check. Studs in there. Shifter mounted. It's good right now. I mean, it's, it's got a little wobble to it, but I mean, hey, this is a race car. It's not going to be perfect because it disconnects, you know what I mean? But it's... That's exactly what it is. So anyway, it does disconnect. We'll pull pin down there. This comes back so I can move and get inside of here if I need to. But yeah, I've got a shifter cable in that fucker. Got my shifter cable in there. The shift solenoid so it shifts it in a second for me. Yep, got that. Delay box gonna go there. Alright. Boy, I can't wait to show you motherfuckers this. I swear to God that my winter got hard. <laughs> Pardon me if you're a little young. You shouldn't be hearing that. Oh, here we go. Oh, I know it. I knew it. Isn't that so awesome? Oh. All right, so all this shit done. Get in there a little bit for you. There we go. All that's done, done, wired up. Got to run my wires, shit, stainless steel fittings, all that shit, all no rubber. No way. Running it around, coming around the mountain. Got to do a little, little, little do to my other line back here. Kip, 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 and brakes are done. Radiator. Ain't for sure if I'm going to use this or not. Not really sure, but I don't know. Sean says he's got another radiator. Might either make this one work or Sean's got another radiator. Might get that one. I don't know yet. We'll see what happens. Let's see there. This here, those are my $152 headers. All right, $152 from Speedway. It was a crap shoot. It was like, man, we just need something to try to mock up with, right? Well, these bad boys, look, right through. No bending, no nothing, no nothing. Cleared my spark plug. I got lucky on that one because I didn't have a spark plug or these heads on here. And, um, yeah, that, that plug got real close. The other side, I didn't get so lucky. Um, not for sure quite what I'm going to have to do. It might be okay. I ain't for sure. $152 for those headers. Come with turn down, gaskets, studs, fucking Speedway, dude. You cannot beat Speedway. Come with the studs, or, well, yeah, exhaust studs, whatever. Gaskets, headers. The turn downs, which I'm, I'm going to cut these back because I get the hood on there real quick. I think I'm going to make this section of my hood stay on the car. So I'm, I'm going to like cut it and fix it to the car and the rest of the hood will come off like this. This is going to stay, I think. I think because this, this here is going to be poking through the side. So I've been seeing most of them do it. I think that's what I'm going to do. Then I'm going to make that stick out the side. Same with this one because see this one sticks out a lot further. So I'm gonna have to bring this, bring this come back a little bit. Maybe even have to cut down some of that. I don't know. I don't know. But alright, so here's where I didn't get so lucky. That fucking plug, man. I mean it's it's off the frame rail. It is off the frame rail. But when you are starting this plug, 
it is literally laying on the fucking frame rail, dude. I got so lucky. <laughs> I mean, I didn't get real lucky, but I think I can get a boot on that. I think it'll be all right. And if I do got to, I'll maybe notch that frame and lay in a piece of metal or something. I don't know yet. Man, but if that's the worst of my troubles, then shit. You know, hey, I'm pretty sure a boot will go on there. See what Sean says. See what old Sean says. You know, man, I ain't gonna lie. I, I know I talk a lot about Sean on here. Sean's a good dude, man. And this man, I don't even know what to even... I don't know. I'm gonna be working for this dude for the rest of my life. <laughs> that's okay. I don't care. I'll work. I can work, man. Money's hard to come by. Work, that's easy for me. That's easy for me. I like working. So, and I love working on race cars, man. Ever since I met this dude, I have not stopped. Right now, I'm in the process of building... We, we are in the processes of building two cars, mine and his, and then my uncle's car is in the processes of getting done. Oh, you already see him. You already see him. I know it. T and D's, baby. Like I say, Sean comes walking down and says, man, I got a surprise for you. I don't know what kind of surprise your friends give you, but son of a gun. That was a surprise. Yeah. Yeah, that was a hell of a surprise. Sean, again, if you're seeing this, I figure you know I love you. Uh, let, me, let me get these on here. Get on there. We're going to leave that right there. We're going to leave that right there for the time being. Because I don't want to knock something off. And it just so happened that one of my brake lines happened to work. I think I'm going to end up using it for a catch can maybe. I don't, I don't know. It might be a little too long. I don't know. But it did fit. So, dudes, my brakes are done, my steering's done, roll cage is done, shocks are mounted and done. I gotta get, I gotta get smaller springs for the back still. They're only like 60 bucks a piece, and I'm gonna order those this week. Them are 14 inch springs. I'm gonna get some 12 inch springs so that I can get a little more function out of that shock. I mean, it's like, even when it's sitting on its rear, I'm not nowhere near the center of that shaft. So it's like, I need to get my, I'm trying to get that in the right ride height. I gotta get the right ride height. I gotta get the right ride height. Oh, this, I installed this today. Where's my old one? I made a new one because my other one, we had just cut it too short. Another, this had went through two other guys. This this car has been built once, tore back apart because the guy that did the original work, it wasn't right. So that's when we had to cut the whole cage out of the car and have a new cage put in it. So he did this, this motor section thing in the center has been done twice with the same deal here. And this was what I originally had. And it wasn't tall enough on the top up, up, up here, up, up, up here, up, up top here wasn't tall enough. As you can see, now it comes up clear out the back there. I put that in there today to get that up. And so I'm going to build a firewall off of that. And it just so happens, man, it's going to work out great for a throttle stop, I think. I'm just going to put maybe like a little circular cushion pad thing there and just i can use that as a throttle stop it's gonna work great i think so the brakes boom, boom i got the stiffest fucking pedal i don't know i'm gonna have to talk to sean about that make sure that's right but i got the stiffest pedal i've ever felt in my life but i mean hey if they work they work you know so i mean that's all i care about but man this is my progress for the week um i wanted to get the brakes done i got them all done up adrian helped my daughter my daughter, for the first time today, she learned how to pump pedals, man, and she was really good at it. She didn't screw up one time. I can't complain. Can't complain, man, especially whenever your 14-year-old daughter decides to take her face out of the phone for long enough. Didn't even bring it out here. But she come out here and hung out with Dad for a little bit and bled some brakes, man. It was what I consider to be good quality time. I ain't have a son. So I got to make the best of it. And I think I got her talked in to driving this thing, man. I've kind of been driving her, taking her to the fairgrounds, letting her drive. And um, I think we're going to get my old shit work truck. Don't tell my boss. <laughs> but it's, a piece, it's the shittiest thing we got. 
but I'm going to teach her how to load up the converter, get, get up on the converter a little bit and just kind of maybe get a launch, you know, and just kind of nothing serious, you know, nothing to tear up a vehicle just to teach her launching a car, you know, I, I know that's crazy to teach her 14 year old daughter, but when she turns 16, she's going to get her driver's license. And that's whenever I'm deciding to put her in this car. I mean, if she wrecks it, fuck it. I don't care. I, I don't. I don't care if she, well, wait a second. Hold on. I don't want people fucking taking that the wrong way. This is safe. It ain't that fast of a car. If my daughter was to wreck it, she'd be okay. But it's not like that. I'm, I'm saying that if she puts this thing into the fucking wall, I don't care. I will take it and go buy another one. I don't, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? So my little, my little girl is going to have a memory with me that she'll never forget. And that's going to be something not another man in this world will ever be able to give her. Like a lot of men will be able to give her shit, rings, kisses, hugs, love and compassion. Will they be able to give her a 2G hit from the start doing a freaking three foot willy? Never, never. She'll remember her daddy forever for that. So that's what I want to give to her. You know what I mean? Something un unforgettable. So anyway, got my door straps on too. These are door limiters. So my door don't just swing on open and everything. You know, you know, I bet you I'm going to put my doors on. I bet you my fucking doors are going to hit them headers. I haven't checked that yet. I have not checked that, but I got a daggum feeling them fucking headers are going to hit my doors. So right here, folks, you just found out what I was doing tomorrow, so putting doors on the car to see if the headers headers clear if not we're gonna have to we'll have to rig up that collector a little bit but no big deal i mean ain't no big deal you can rig it's a race car so anyway firewall is gonna be the next video i'll show you guys the progress in the firewall i'll be videotaping this shit but man it slows me down and i don't get as much done and I'm ready to get this car done jessel or no, no, no. TND Shaft Rockers. Okay? Dragon Slayer Brodex Heads. Yes, sir. It ain't gonna be the fastest car track. It'll be the fastest car I ever drove. Looking for about 600 and something horsepower if I can get it out of this little piece of shit. But, yeah. Anyway. This is my pride, guys. This is all I got to my name. Besides my daughter and my bowling balls. Okay, this is what I got. My old lady. She loves me, but, but this car, boy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Look, look. Barely clears. I mean, fucking barely. You ever heard of a cunt hair? That's what a cunt hair looks like. You can't even see the cunt hair, but it don't touch. It don't touch. She clear. But anyway, all right, guys, we ain't got nobody to talk to because nobody likes to hear about race cars. And by the number of views that I get on these race car videos, apparently nobody likes it on here either. <laughs> but this is something for me to leave for my legacy, my generations to see, you know, great grandkids and everything. Anyway, if you're a great grandchild and you're watching this, you're a great, great granddaddy. Man, he loves you. You guys are amazing. Anyway, guys, hey. That around. There we go. Yeah. Uh, maybe take a walk with Jesus. I know that sounds crazy, man. I know I sound crazy. Take a walk with Jesus. Talk to him. Let him know what you're thinking. Maybe he can give you some opinion. He'll come to you. He'll tell you. He'll let you know. Believe you me. He will let you know. I've asked him a million times, should I keep going on this thing? Should I keep going? He says yes. That's what he tells me. He tells me keep going. So anyway. All right, guys, till the next video.